back, relax and maybe get yourself a snack Me and you gonna have a little chat guys so I am going up to London today to the booktube meetup and I wanted to take you guys along with me I'm not sure how good this video is going to be I've actually been really sick for the last week and it's only today that I've started feeling a lot lot better thank goodness um, so I really want to go and meet up with everyone but I'm not sure how much I'm going to film I think we're going to quite a few different bookshops and probably out for lunch somewhere so I'll just see what I film as the day goes by and uh, make some sort of montage -y thing for you if I remember. Anyway, let's get started. I'm going to head into London now. It is half past seven in the morning, quite early, um, but we don't need to meet up until 10, I think. So it takes me about an hour or so to get there because um, we meet up at King's Cross and I just want to get there a bit early so that I don't get stuck on traffic and trains and all that. Um, and also so that I can have breakfast in London because I'm hungry and I want to have food in London so that I'm on time. So that is the plan. Let's get started and I'll see you all later. It is such a beautiful spring day. I'm so excited by the weather being nice. It makes me so happy. So as you saw from that vlog, I went up to London, I had a great time and of course I did buy some books. You will have seen snippets of some of them in the actual vlog but I wanted to quickly run through them just at the end to show you what I got whilst I was up there and then see if any of you guys have read them or what you think of them if you've heard of them. So the books I ended up picking up, I got two in Gaze the Word which is an excellent LGBTQIA plus bookshop and they do so many 
great, great books, not just fantasy and science fiction, like any type of book, um, but they all involve that in some way. So this one is A Matter of Oaths by Helen S. Wright, with an introduction by Becky Chambers, which is why I picked this up. It's actually an older science fiction. It was originally published in 1988, and it's a book that went out of print for a while. It says... Commander Rallier of the patrol ship Batara hires Rafe as their new web officer and she knows she's taken a risk. An oathbreaker, he's suffered the ultimate punishment, identity wipe. But luckily for him, there's no one else around qualified for the job. Shunned by his shipmates, Rafe is ready to keep his head down and do his job, but his competence quickly earns him respect, admiration, and in one particular case, love. It's difficult to maintain the glow of acceptance, however, with his past is chasing him across the galaxy in the shape of an assassin, intent on dealing once and for all with Rafe, whatever the cost. I believe it also has a lot of gender fluidity and things like that that it deals with, and that's something that wasn't discussed as much in the 80s, so I'm intrigued to see how this book does it and what the author does, um, and whether she's written anything else, because I've literally never heard of her before I found this book. This new cover edition is so beautiful that I could not resist it. The next one that I picked up is City of Strife by Claudine Arsenault, the first one in the Isandor novels. There are two out at the moment, I'm not sure how many there's going to be. Um, this one is this one is a political fantasy, I believe. It's set around a bickering merchant family who are very extravagant and they have loads and loads of wealth. Um, the unspoken rules regulate their battles, but when an idealistic elven lord provokes the powerful Myrian Empire, all bets are off. Nobles and commoners must fight together to preserve their way of life, and I believe it's an all LGBTQIA plus cast, um, which sounds pretty great to me. So I'm very intrigued about how this one goes. Um, haven't really seen many people talk about this, although I did see a little bit about it before it was released online because it was touting this LGBTQIA plus flag and it sounds like it's trying to do a good job of representation whether or not it does do that I don't know but I'm intrigued to find out so that was the other one I got in Gaze the Word and then the final one that I picked up whilst I was in London is one that I didn't even know was out but I'm so happy it is um, that is this one The Good Immigrant USA which is edited by Nikesh Shukla and Chimien Suleiman this book is a continuation or an expansion I suppose to The Good Immigrant which is the UK edition, came out I think in 2016 and I loved that book. I've since read it and recommended it to Steve and loads of friends. They've all enjoyed it who've read it as well. So it's such a good book. Um, it was a five star read for me and it was all about immigration in the UK. Obviously this one is all about immigration in the US. It has 26 different writers, all of whom are either immigrants themselves or second generation immigrants. And I think it's gonna be a good read, much like the first one was. I also have to say that I love the cover of this because it's like this plastic wrap round um, and then this amazing silhouette underneath, which is just so beautiful. And then inside the end pages are really beautiful as well. So I definitely am excited to have this. Um, I haven't really heard of any of the authors, but hopefully once I read it, I might enjoy them and find out more about them. So as always, let me know if you've read these or if you're planning to pick them up, what you thought of them. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye guys. Thank you for watching my video today Go pick up a book Then come back and chat with me again